the package with the APL along with the smaller footprint UMC 500 pretty much gave us everything that we were looking for. My name is Ryan Semerero. I'm the process engineering manager here at Memory Corporation in Bethel, Connecticut. Most of what we do here is medical device product made out of nitinol. Nitinol being a shape memory alloy, we need to train that material to take a shape for certain products for our customers. So most of what we do with Haas product here is manufacturing our own in-house tooling to provide uh, shape set fixtures and allowing the heat treating of the material so that we can set that shape permanently in the material. It's highly critical that we have centrality right and everything is fixtured very properly so that as we're rotating around we have many features that need to be on center for our final product to meet inspection criteria. The final product that is made with these fixtures is highly technical in nature and each part is 100% inspected for all features. So if our tooling is no good, our part is no good. We chose the UMC 500 SS because we needed something with five axis capability and the UMC 500 gives us that compact package for the size of parts that we need. We bought this machine with the automatic part loader for one of our high volume products. That's a consumable tool and we run hundreds and hundreds of them. So we wanted to have the ability to run this machine lights out without having an operator attend it all the time. As far as getting set up with the APL, I found that the programming of it is extremely intuitive. Within the Haas control, it walks you through everything step by step so that there's really no question about how to program this machine for picking up, loading, and unloading parts. I was able to be up and running very quickly. This product that we're running right now is previously done on another 5-axis machine we have in our machine shop. That has been a manual one-up operation driven by our tool makers. So this APL system here, able to run lights out, allows us to run this without the cost of one, taking up the time of that tool maker that could be spent making other tools, but allows us to run a lot more efficiently here. We have very limited footprint here. That's why we have the Haas CM1 machines. They're very capable and don't take up too much of our floor space. The travels on the CM1 are perfect for us. We don't need anything more than that. And we're able to put multiple parts in the machine at a time and effectively get the throughput that we need. The other things that we like about it is the high speed spindle. Uh, we have one machine with a 50,000 RPM spindle and one machine with a 30,000 RPM spindle. This really comes into play when we do very small features where we will run small end mills down to about eight thousandths. For any of our production machines we're buying now, any machine we buy from Haas, we outfit with the Renishaw probe and the non-contact laser tool setter. And the laser tool setter is great for the small tools that we have. It also will enable us to do tool breakage detection and, and things of that nature for running redundant tooling. I think in the medical device market, all of the components are starting to get more complex, they're getting smaller, and we need to be able to be nimble to adapt to these new features that product designers are putting into their, their products. We found that the Haas CNC equipment has been a great value for us. We're generally able to get our equipment in quickly, and the value is there so that we could be turnkey without a ridiculous price tag that it might take to do something like this, a fully automated CNC milling system. This package with the UMC 500 and the APL was a really great value to get us up and running on an automated system.